case. Let us take a case where we added one buffer in the launch clock path delay with a delay of x. Okay, so the left hand side of the equation becomes theta plus delta 1 plus x. So now the data arrival time, let's quickly go to the previous uh, previous slide. So the data arrival time which was theta plus delta 1, now the data arrival time becomes even more. Basically it becomes theta plus delta 1 plus x. And now this data arrival time has to be less than and now this data arrival time has to be less than this data required time, this complete data required time. Basically, you have put a speed breaker in the path. So once you put a speed breaker in the path, you still have to arrive at a time which is less than the required time. You still have to arrive at uh, arrive on the meeting at the right time. It's as simple as that. So so uh, so th so this this equation, if you see it on the left hand side side, you are expected to be less than the data required time. But but addition of this particular x might uh, addition of this particular buffer might get you late over here so if you see if you increase this particular term if you increase more and more buffers over here how your left hand side can go beyond right hand side and you tend to see a negative slack let's see how how do we do that